record now? Cool. Yes, I am. Okay. So you open it up, you pour your mix in here, and then you close it. And as soon as you close it, you do this and you rotate it. How long? Until it says it, until it's done. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think until it's done, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I think the green light means it's just, it, that it's just ready. Mm -hmm. So how do I open it to check it? Just pull it open. Okay. When it's like this, it's locked. Oh, I just flip it over. You have to flip it over to check it. All right. Well, this I'm is a non-stick. So I don't spray Waffle spray. Iron. I do spray spray that. You don't put any spray on it. Oh uh, yeah. You don't put any spray on it. That's what ruins non-stick. And you don't use a fork to dig in there and dig stuff out. Okay, well how am I gonna get it out? Well it's supposed to just you, you could take a fork and, and just lightly oh, okay. do it and I pull it out. But okay. I said don't dig. Okay. And you're hundred percent sure I don't spray oil in the bottom. I, I'm hundred percent sure you don't spray anything in it because it says it's non-stick. Okay. Non-stick means non-stick. It means it won't stick. Okay. You say so. It probably even says on the very first page. It says uh, close supervision is necessary. I probably should Oh, you better stop it. And you might also better stay. What? <laughs> I said, and you might also better stay. You're right. Tips for perfectly baked waffles. Stir your waffle batter only until large chunks of dry ingredients are dissolved. Overmixing the waffle batter can cause the waffles to be hard. Okay. Set the control knob to your desired setting. The higher your setting, the darker your waffles. The exact amount of batter needed to make perfect full-size waffles depends on the type and consistency of the batter. Use the same ladle or measuring cup each time to determine how much batter you need to fill. The lower plate fully so as to cover the peaks in the plate. You know what that is, right? The peaks in the plate? No. These are the peaks. Okay, cover those? Yes, as soon as those are covered, then you stop and you close this and then you okay. flip it over. Got it. When making softer variety of waffles, once they are baked, make sure to cut the waffles into halves or in four quarters and support them with a spatula at the bottom so it is easier to take them out from the plates. Since softer waffles can break easily. Making, when making large batches to serve at once, you can keep the waffles fresh and crisp by placing them in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Look. I We're going to take a, a short pause for the pause. Can't fix it. That's because you're not trying to do it correctly. See, later in a little bit, you're going to show me, and we're going to cut this part out. You're going to show me how to spice these videos. Well, that would be cool if somebody would show me how to do it. Well, I'm going to show you where to do it, and you're going to figure out how to do it. See? It's... More difficult than it looks. Well, I still have this loop. Wait, I'm not done. Alright. Play. Lost my page. Preheat your waffles in the waffle maker by preheating the waffle maker on the low setting. Once you preheat, place the waffles on the lower plate so they fit and grooves correctly. Then close the waffle maker and eat for one to two minutes. You can also freeze your waffles for eating later. Oh, we should freeze waffles. Okay.
It's raining by yourself now? Well, it actually doesn't say anything about not using the... The spray? Because you always use spray. It will stick. One hundred percent. It will stick. Maybe you should Google it. first video we have you have learned how to use it and then we'll go back to part two when we actually do use it okay all right anything say anything? say goodbye here's a classic buttermilk waffle so it's kind of good one and a half cups of mixed waffle two eggs four tablespoons of melted butter and a half a cup of buttermilk mm. we could do that Okay, I'm headed to the store to buy waffle stuff now. Okay. Yep, this song. Okay. Because I'd be afraid to put that right there. So one of the main reasons why most people end up sticking their waffles to the thing is because they don't let the thing get hot enough. All right, well, you keep an eye on the bacon, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, it will be in a second. Anything special you want on your waffles? No. Butter and syrup. Some, a brand new thing of butter in there somewhere. All right, I'll be right back. Let's make it. Okay. Yeah. 